hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be absolutely insane I will be discussing the topic about BBLs doctors and potential homicide cases sit tight because this story is going to be more than scary it's going to be frightening and it's going to be an eye-opener for a lot of women out there who want to conduct the procedure of a BBL. So let's get started. Today I'm going to be talking about Evita Sarmonicas. Evita Sarmonicas is a beautiful 29 year old girl. She's a US citizen and she always, always has been beautiful. She has a young she has an older sister who loves her dearly. She always had admirers due to her beauty. Everyone that saw her or met her knew that she was beautiful. They even admired and some might even say were jealous of her beauty. In 2015, Miss Simonikas decided to do a secret procedure without her family knowing. She flew to Mexico to do an appointment. And not only an appointment, to do a procedure, a BBL procedure. If you're not familiar with the BBL procedure, it's a Brazilian butt lift. And the main goal of this procedure is to transfer fat from your midsection, arms, back, into your buttocks to create the illusion of a more voluptuous, curvy body. Evita, Miss, Miss Evita, did not tell her mom nor her sister Maria Samonicas about this procedure that she was going to do in Mexico. However, she told them that she's just going to go for a trip in LA. They believed her. So, on that day, the 29-year-old Miss Evita Samonicas went to Dr. Ramirez, which was deemed to be a major, major mistake. On that day, the 29-year-old girl in March of 2015 suffered a heart attack on the table in Mexico. After this heart attack, her family members were notified by the Mexican doctor that she had suffered a heart attack. But how is that possible? She's perfectly healthy. She did a procedure? What procedure? Those are all the questions that the family members, especially Maria Samonicas, who is her sister, had. Those were the questions that they had. I, they thought that she was in L.A., why would she do a procedure? She's so beautiful. She doesn't need a procedure. Why did she die? Is the procedure that risky? What happened? How could a healthy 29-year-old just get a heart attack out of nowhere? She did not have any previous medical conditions relating to her heart or nothing. The doctor told her that they wanted to cremate the body as soon as possible, which was the number one red flag that the sister noted. They were rushing to do a cremation instead of an op instead of a autopsy. Well, the sister fought and fought and fought till she got to do her own autopsy in US. The autopsy revealed incredibly cruel, cruel things. The autopsy revealed that she had five puncture wounds in her lungs. Now, I know you're asking yourself, her lungs? I thought she did a BBL. What does that have to do with her lungs? I'm going to explain that. The doctor used this device called a cannula. I'm not pronouncing it right, but it's it's this device on the screen where this is suctioning the fat out of you to be able to insert it in your buttocks. 
it is highly unlikely that this device can puncture your lungs. There are so many tissues that you would have to go through to get to the lungs. And not to even puncture it once, but five times. Shows how unprofessional, how inadequate, and how much of a murderer this doctor is. This doctor is a killer. And then lies and says that this is a heart attack. Moving on, like I was saying, these five puncture wounds inevitably killed her. These were fatal, fatal wounds. She choked on her own blood. How could she breathe with five puncture wounds in her lungs? So, of course, the sister, Maria Samonicas, she took upon herself to do a bit of more of a research on this doctor. Who else did he kill? Who else is he going to kill next? Well, during this research, her sister found out that he has killed six people so far, including Miss Evita. He has killed six people and he has left many women botched. Many women that are suffering till this day with complications, ongoing health issues, and more. This man, this doctor, is still practicing till this day. I find it personally to be a very tragic story how this 29-year-old woman, beautiful woman to be exact, died on the operating table of a murderer, of a fraud, of someone that does not, does, does not deserve the title of a doctor. It's honestly repulsive. He has had several deaths on his belt. There are several families that did not come forward that he has killed. And it's sickly how he's still practicing. I am doing this video not only to bring awareness to this case, but to also talk about the hype, the scandals, and the fame that BBL has. BBL, the, this procedure is the most dangerous procedure out there. Yet people are doing BBLs every day. They are going to Miami, they're going to Thailand, they're going to Turkey to do BBLs. A second case I have, which is not a case, but it's an example I mean is about this London influencer named Miss R. Fabulous who did her BBL in Turkey. Luckily she survived but she has the BBL figure but to what expense? Her leg is botched. She's living every day with pain. One side of her leg, especially her thigh, is bigger it's swollen they inserted fat in her thigh and now she has a huge lump on the side of her thigh that she cannot get rid of these things are things that these these practitioners don't show on their website these very invasive procedures they do not tell you the reality the complications that are inevitably going to occur these doctors want your money and that's all they want and social media nowadays portrays this image of having a BBL as just going to the dentist and coming back out and then boom you have your perfect body well it's not like that because many girls go out there oh my no god no, God, please, no, 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 no. In search of that perfect body that you see on Instagram, in search of that perfect round hip, hips, I mean, that perfect slim stomach that honestly is such a, you know, an unrealistic body figure. 
nobody looks like that <laughs> without you know enhancements and honestly you could actually go to the gym if you really want to achieve it I mean it's a slower route but at least you know you're not putting your life at the hands of a killer like Dr. Ramirez who is still practice who is still practicing till this day and continuously killing people I hear nothing that's suspicious that's weird specifically women he's murdering women and young young women like Evita furthermore I wanted to shed light on the pressure of social media to look the best looked pretty 24 7 to wake up with makeup on since when did we live in a world that is so hooked on what you look like well i hope that whoever does their bbl they go and they research the doctors because on the other hand there are some success stories from people that did their BBLs and they have no complaints. They have zero to no complaints because there are good doctors out there. There are doctors that really, really have the best interest of the patients at heart. But those doctors, they are expensive. You get your money for it. You really pay. They really do a good work but on the other side I can I can honestly see the attraction of those cheap PBLs because it's the same result but cheaper so you would naturally be drawn to it but you really need to keep in mind that the reality of it is most likely a scam you will pay less money but to what expense you can never ever be the same again or you can never wake up again compared to saving enough money and going to the best doctor out there and knowing that you will not die you know it's something that many girls young girls see on instagram and they think okay i don't have enough money now but if i get a bbl then the rappers and all the basketball players and everyone will like me and then I can be an influencer these girls they go to Turkey they go to Thailand they go to everywhere Colombia Dominican Republic and search for that lifestyle for that influencer lifestyle which seems to be so luxurious with sugar daddies who pay you for her who pay you money for exchange of stuff <laughs> but it's honestly it's honestly a shame let me know in the comment box below what you think of this this topic have you done a BBL would you like to do a BBL where will you go to do your BBL and what are your thoughts on the botched cases do you think that the BBL procedure should be you know, removed from medical procedures let me know in the comment box below and i'll see you in tomorrow's video bye bye thank you for listening